share her faith of her son's disciples and the hope of the children of God. Bring the light of Christ's resurrection to this time of testing and pain as we pray for Lani and for those who love her. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We have a passage from sacred scripture, which is from St. John. And in this, St. John is reminding his friends, his disciples, that there is a place prepared for us. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, if I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We know that all through time, Old Testament, New Testament, and up to today, God has always been with his people. We think of people who are part of our lives, people who have loved us and forgiven us, we get a little glimpse of God. Jesus tells us there's a place prepared for us. We might feel like that doubting Thomas. Where is the Lord going? Well, Jesus says, you know me. So we reflect at a time like this, people who have touched us, and that gives us hope. So we think of Lonnie, how God used her as a tool in your lives, as a, as a daughter, as your sister, uh, whoever she was to you. Uh, and we can say God used her as a tool in building up his kingdom. But you know, God blessed Lonnie with you. She heard your voice. Maybe she felt your touch. Uh, perhaps she celebrated Christmas or birthday times with you. You are the blessings that God gave to her in this life, and there were others. Uh, at this time, I believe that we have um, a prayer. Hmm. And then we have, uh, I think, the sister here doing something very good. Lord God, to your mercy, we owe our forgiveness and salvation. Grant that your servant, Yolanda, our lovely Lani, who has departed from this life, may be admitted into everlasting happiness through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints. God bless you.
The trader that you worked for was so impressed that he offered you a job and wanted you to stay on, but you said it was your dream to finish college and you were determined, so off you went. You worked very hard and always made top grades. You were at the top of your class both in New Mexico and at UC Berkeley. You graduated with honors mm -hmm. and were well liked by your professors and those around you. One professor even came up and hugged and complimented about how your efforts and achievements were so excellent. I loved visiting you in California with, along with your father and attending one of your piano lessons that was taught by some top professor who only accepted extremely talented pupils. He walked around the room as you played and he commented to us, your parents, how talented you were. He was so pleased with you. You put so much time and effort into everything you did. <coughs> you had to be perfect. It's, uh, it's sad that all along you were suffering with headaches and you were told later in life about having a chemical imbalance which gave you moments of fear and uncontrollable, uncontrollable behavior. But you even learned to, to accept and conquer that. You learned to understand it better than most people ever could in that kind of circumstance. And still, you never stopped training and striving for more, even with such a, such, a, uh, such a disadvantage that most people would have given up. As an adult, after your father passed away, you came to live with me, and I enjoyed all of our lunches together, and playing cards, and laughing and telling our stories as grown women. Very few parents get such an opportunity to have such a blessing to enjoy their children as children and also as adults. Paula has always said that you are the bravest woman she has ever known, and you are extremely generous. You live by yourself in Mexico, you went to Harvard by yourself for a semester. You sent your art to both to um, to galleries on both sides of the of the continent. You graduated with honors at UC Berkeley, and dozens of people wanted just to be your friend. Even Paula's friends were impressed when you went and took them to the art museum <clears throat> during the Monet exhibit, and you gave a lesson. And everyone in the museum started gathering as though you were one of the <laughs> tour guides giving lessons on art and light. And then you went to the Russian tea house together. They were all thankful to know you, and so was your youngest sister. My dearest, beautiful daughter Lottie. I miss you very much, and I love you and will never stop. I remember the beautiful uh, I remember the beautiful years of happiness that you gave as a child and as a grown woman. I know that God is looking after you even today. And I am so proud to have been your mother. I am proud of your achievements. I am proud of the person that you are. And I am grateful that God gave us the opportunity to be mother and daughter on this earth and that we will share eternity together with him and your father and grandfather and so many that have gone before us. You have blessed this world and left the scent of your beauty and kindness, your art and your essence of God behind. You tried to overcome the obstacles and you did better than most because you are such an amazing person. I'll miss our wonderful lunches and I look forward one day in the far, far future for us all to share eternity with Jesus together. This is a lullaby that I wrote just after um, hearing about what happened with Lonnie. Mom wanted me to sing it. This is from a mother and a child and from God with us. It's called For Always. Open my eyes, you are my prize. For always, holding me near, you calm all fear. For always, feeling you warm, calming my storm for always.
searching for love, you rise above for always. Shivering cold, you come take hold for always. When in the gale, you are my sail. Scared in the trial, you make me smile for always. Dark in the night, you are my light for always. Ending alone, you are my home for always. Changing again, new life began for always. Being with Christ, my eternal life for always. Those are very beautiful uh, stories and memories and prayers that you're sending to Lonnie's way. Uh, and so how blessed she is to have you who love her, who have been part of her life. And now uh, we commend her soul to the Lord as we one day will go home to the Lord ourselves and be with Lonnie, her dad, and all those who have gone before us with faith. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister in the sure and certain hope that together, with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our sister Lonnie Hudson from this life to himself, we commit her remains to its resting place, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change us to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise her on the last day. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, 
and let perpetual light shine upon her. May Lonnie's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, love, and serve. So good at uh, everything, but terrible at technology. I'll, I'll take whatever. You're gonna leave the flowers, though, right? Yeah. Good. That looks pretty. All right, what, what's mine? All right, that's me, huh? Yeah, hey, yo, what's up? Hey, the best for my sister, why not? I don't need you falling down. No, I just got a little. And oh, Harry, what's your problem? I told you it was too early to drink. She thought it was a line of clock. Together. Yeah, it's a box. Where is that now?